Hello YouTube. So I wanted to make a video showing how I set up my uh, my mail delivery vehicle, left hand drive, you know, my POV for my rural route. Because I always see people asking online how to set up their left hand drive vehicles if they have to deliver out of one. And it's really not too bad once you get the hang of it. So I'm going to show you the way I do it. I have a similar video that has done pretty well. But I missed a lot of points, so I figured I'd make another one. So this is a 96 Taurus station wagon, which I do recommend. They're nice vehicles for delivering out of. But I'll show you how I sit in it first. So, you know, of course, you're straddling here. So you got your left leg over. As you can see, it's really not a bad reach at all. Not bad at all. And then I got my DPS here, or portion of it. Set that right on my lap. So I work directly from my lap. Don't read those addresses. That tray down there is for outgoing mail. So toss mail down there. And then I'm working out of my uh, tray right here with my flats and stuff that I cased in. And then a couple a couple spurs just laying out, laying out top that are coming up early on the route. And then you turn around and directly behind me, I have another tray of spurs right here, which are in order of the route. So, you know, ideally this will be the next one. This one, you know, pretty close to in route anyways. And then just kind of packed all around it are the larger packages. Let me get out. Another thing I like to, I like putting a little grippy thing right here to hold my scanner and my donuts. <laughs> so, the way I put packages in, all these are first part of the route. And then here's more, here's the rest of the DPS. So when that tray's empty, I'll pull some more out of there. So big beginning of the route right here. First, you know, once you open the door and get to. And then the back, the second half of my route, everything in the back here is the second half of the route. So I don't really have to mess around with that until later on. Except for this one today is one of my first stops. That was the only place I could get it in. And that's second half of the mail. There's two trays there. And then another another tray of uh, spurs to move forward once the other one's empty. But yeah, you know, I couldn't even get everything in today. So I do have two large packages left at the office that I'll run out on my way home. But after that side's delivered, then I come over here and start working this way until the front's all empty and i keep something right behind my front seat for like outgoing or not out, not outgoing sorry for uh dps errors there's always a lot of dps errors out of town and stuff or the occasional casing mistake that i catch toss it back there for the next day but yeah see i put two two trays of flats right here it's about as much as you can fit but this has been a good setup, and I've done this exact same setup out of a couple other POVs that I used to deliver out of. But now this vehicle is just my backup, because I deliver out of a factory right-hand drive Jeep, which I have a built-in shelf right here, so everything's much more organized and easier to deliver out of. I definitely recommend getting a right-hand drive, but that's not always easy to do. They're kind of expensive, and if you're new to the job, you probably want to try something else first. And This has been a good setup for me, so hopefully this video will help any new people that are anxious or worried how to set everything up. If you set it up like this, I don't think you're going to have much problems. You know, a couple pointers. Make sure you have your spurs directly behind you at an easy-to-reach spot. So otherwise you're gonna throw your shoulder out reaching across like this you don't want to be lifting up heavy stuff you know with your shoulder you're gonna be a hurting unit real soon and also you don't want anything too large because you don't want to be stretched out you know Ugh. Taurus is a pretty it's not it's not a super wide vehicle so it's not much of a stretch but I am six foot two so but regardless it's not a bad stretch at all and yeah, just keep all the tools you might po potentially need. I have those all back there. Can't really see, but 
Uh, I mean, I think that's about it. I mean, the rest of the things I could say would be the same in a right-hand drive for just tips and stuff. But if anyone has any questions whatsoever, ask me in the comment section and I'll uh, answer it the best of my ability. I've been delivering out of this vehicle for a few years, but out of a, I delivered out of a left-hand drive for almost nine years until I got the right-hand drive, which I've had now for like four years. There's no going back, but except for on days when it's in the shop, like right now, I get to drive this old beauty. That's all right. Anyways, good luck out there, especially if you're new. Stick with it. It's a good job. I'd like to, I mean, it's not really as good as it used to be with Amazon, but <laughs> you get used to it and it's, it's still decent, but it's a hard job to learn. It's an easy job to do, but a hard job to learn. So just stick with it and it'll get easier. Anyways, if you like the video, smash that thumbs up for me. You can subscribe if you'd like. That's your call. Buddy. Oh yeah, one more thing. You got to adjust your mirrors, of course, so you can see out, as you can see though today can't see out the back the rear view very well but then you move these around and just make sure you can see these mirrors and then everything will be all right and soon enough i'll be able to see out there too so there we go thanks for watching have a good one peace